Lage, I'm glad that you're my first special guest, and I would love to know what was it like, like being married to Gennaro and traveling and that kind of thing, and him playing. Every day was an adventure. I think we were on like six different teams. So his transition from playing basketball to after, what was that like? He went right into coaching. Wow. So we went through a very difficult period. Now you're the coach and you're not in the limelight. You're in a transition period where you're like, I don't know where the f I'm going and I got all these bills and I have children. And sometimes you take it out on the person that you love the most and I was, the, I was his punching bag. We had three beautiful children, and I wouldn't change it for the world. This is amazing, and it shows a little bit of vulnerability with Malaysia, and I can appreciate that. This sounds like someone that I really could get to know. Like, she sounds real. Everybody is going through something, there so is. this is what it is. I've already heard this story, but it just reminds me just back when we were friends, and I miss that. So, Brandy, I'm glad you're here to share your story. Thank and you. I would love to talk to you about Jason, how you met him, his time in the league, and then his transition out. We were together in high school, and we've been together ever since then. <laughs> Did you know what you was getting into? I've never been the person that wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. I've always been taught to hustle. I've always been taught to work and do your own thing. And so we had a deal that when it got towards the end of his career, mm -hmm. that that was the time for me to transition to do what I wanted to do. In the past, I've watched my friends who've dated athletes or men who are successful get left with nothing. And I just wanna make sure I'm not one of those women that falls victim to depending on a man. So transitioning into retirement, was that an easy thing for you guys or was it difficult? No. I mean, he went from being the man to really humbling himself and being just a normal person. Just being a normal guy. Yeah. I'm definitely worried that if I retired, I might look up and resent Iman for making me quit or feeling the pressure to quit. But if I could get a record and executive produce, that'll just take me to a whole nother level. And I really want to be the first female DJ that looks like me to be able to accomplish something like that. Thank you, Nia, for joining us. Hi, everyone. So let's talk about your experience with your significant other in the league. Well, I'm an ex. He was super sweet. He was super kind. And then he started feeling himself because I put so much into him. I helped build his page, his image, making him work out, making him change up eating. I'm like investing so much where I stopped investing into myself. Okay. So I had to leave the situation. I always tell him, like, be humble. I understand what these women are saying because it's a lifestyle change. And so once you get used to something, you get used to it. So I get it. It's, it's not an easy task. Would you ever date another player? <laughs> oh, you kind of are, I kind of huh? dated athletes all my life. I might need to stop doing that because, yeah. girl. I love you Thank for sharing you. that with me. Thank you, Nia. Right, Last and let's, let's bring you up, British. So you want me to talk about how I'm a basketball hoe? That's what you want me to talk about? <laughs> Everybody, we're welcoming British to the show. I met Lorenzo when I was 21, as I was senior in college. Lorenzo played international basketball, so I've lived in Turkey, Russia, Israel, France, damn, Germany, everywhere. And I feel like I learned and grew with him. We're not together today because, like, he went, I went through the whole transition of him going through retirement. I thought about stuff that he does every day. I'm like, well, you work out every day. You love training people. Train people, become a trainer. My issue is with Lorenzo is that he wanted to his clients. So when that happens, then it's oh, it. It's the truth. Remember her. British. You so want me you to tell never the truth told or you want me that? Me I want you to tell the truth. I would never take any of the things that we, that was my best friend. He really was there no matter what. When my dad died, he was there. Like Lorenzo has, I'm about to cry thinking about it. We really have been through a lot of stuff together. British. Oh my God. It's kind of messed up. Oh my God. Don't mess up my makeup, British. I want people to understand that being with a basketball player is not easy. It's not. It's not. It's beautiful, but it's not easy. Sometimes it's beautiful. Sometimes it's a nightmare. I definitely appreciate the time that me and Lorenzo had together. It definitely taught me a lot of learning lessons and made me who I am today. And, you know, it's hard to kind of come to terms with the fact that we're not together anymore. British, thank you. Thank you, Jackie. For sharing your you, story. You got, me, you got me on podcast prime. <laughs> I have something to add to that. I really feel like, no, I'm thankful for this space because we are the head of our households. I don't care what anybody says. 
as women, we are. We pay. We make sure the bills are paid, even if you're giving me the money. The house is clean. The booty the, is the, ready. The booty is ready. OK, the food is on the table. You know what I'm saying? So why you going through your transition? It's like we do. We do, and we go through our transition silently. And either you could roll with it or get rolled over. You know what I'm saying? We're going to leave that right there, because Brooke ain't playing. I love it, sis. Thank you for sharing. I love you. This podcast went even better than I could have ever imagined. All of us coming together, sharing our experiences, bonding, laughing, and really enjoying each other and connecting, not only as women, but basketball wives and a family. Every one of you, I appreciate you coming, and I appreciate the guests for coming and sharing in this moment with us. Hi, it's Jennifer Williams from Basketball Wives. Subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel so you don't miss anything this season.